During World War II, film and other forms of media served as political tools by the Americans to ensure their citizens knew exactly who their enemies were. Yellow skinned, short, and slit-eyed Japanese people. The film industry during the period essentially demonized an entire race and culture, lumping all of the Japanese into one single category. War criminals, aka the Japanese Imperial Army. Therefore, films that show a non-biased and accurate representation of the Japanese are important because they have the power to dispel the racist narratives of time. For the purpose of this essay, we will analyze in this corner of the world and how it fights against racism, stereotyping, by providing an accurate and humanizing picture of the Japanese people during the war. In this corner of the world, or Konosekai no Katasumi ni, is set in the 1940s after Japan took part in the war. It tells the story of a Japanese girl named Suzu and her delayed coming of age story due to the war. Throughout the movie, we learn a lot about the Japanese way of life and its culture through the lens of Suzu as she goes about her day. However, her story started to change when she was married off to a man named Shusaku and moved to Kure. Kure was a port city in Hiroshima that had a strong military presence in World War II as it acted as a stronghold for the Japanese Navy. As time went on, the consequences of the war started affecting regular Japanese citizens who lived around the port. Not only did they suffer from a constant threat of air raids by the Allied forces, but they also suffered food shortages that kept getting worse. However, one aspect that the movie depicted perfectly was the lack of involvement most citizens had with the war. In one scene, we see Suzu completely dumbfounded by the sight of battleship Yamato and ask funny questions. Another funny scene was when Suzu casually draws pictures of the Japanese warships, which obviously got her arrested by the military police as it was seen as a potential act of espionage. But what does the film convey? What are the messages that the movie is trying to tell the audience? Well, there are three primary points we can look at. Number one, the regular Japanese civilians suffered in the war as well. Though Japan was undeniably one of the perpetrators of the war, their citizens suffered just as much as other nations. Secondly, majority of the Japanese citizens weren't involved in the war or even cared much about it. Lastly, the movie also showed us that although the Japanese were very foreign to the West, they weren't so different after all. They had friends, family, school, and hobbies like drawing. But most importantly, they just wanted to live happy lives like normal people. These are the primary messages that In This Corner of the World tries to convey. But why are they significant to this video essay about the critical approach of race? Well, in summary, it is because films like these that show a non-biased depiction of war dispels the racism and stereotypes that were prevalent during wartime cinema. American cinema during World War II was extremely racist towards the Japanese due to a blatant use of racial stereotyping. Racial stereotyping came in many forms, however, Based on research done by Wang Xiaofei in the Journal of American East Asian Relations, Hollywood's ster racial stereotyping of the Japanese could be classified in the forms of physical and psychological racism. In the form of physical racism, the Americans saw all Japanese as physically inferior compared to the white Americans. This bred the stereotype of all Japanese being shorter and skinnier, having yellow skin and small eyes. 
it really dehumanized the Japanese people as they were not seen as human like, but rather caricatures or aliens. This phenomenon could also be seen in what Richard Dyer said in White that white people's features were seen as normal and superior. In other words, white people were seen as normal human beings. However, the Japanese who had different physical features were seen as against the norm and not human like. However, psychological racism was by far the worst. The white Americans saw all Japanese as mentally deformed as the film industry depicted the Japanese people as cruel and treacherous, not possessing any moral values. They also went far enough to ridicule the Japanese religion of Shintoism, claiming the Japanese were idiots to worship their emperors like gods, which disregarded the diversity of Japanese people. It also alluded to the fact that all Japanese people supported the war. After all, they blindly worshipped their mighty emperor. This was obviously factually incorrect, and it was an extremely dangerous ideology to possess, as it justified the killing of civilians in the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, not to mention the air raids. Sadly, the damages of these racial stereotypes could be seen in history, due to the fact that the American film industry enforced these stereotypes. Americans started associating every Japanese person with the Imperial Army, and that encouraged the Americans to carry out racist and hateful behaviors against both native Japanese and American Japanese people. And this is why In This Corner of the World is such an important film, because it provides an accurate representation of the Japanese race that goes against racism and stereotypes seen in Hollywood. As mentioned earlier, the film showed how many Japanese citizens weren't involved in the war or even cared much about it. They weren't all cruel and morally corrupt like the Japanese Imperial Army. In fact, quite the opposite. Furthermore, the film also depicted very well how regular citizens suffered during the war. Yes, the victims of Japan deserved sympathy, but the Japanese civilians deserve it too. They did not deserve all the hate and prejudice towards them. Most importantly, they just wanted to live happy lives like normal people. In summary, films like In This Corner of the World are culturally significant as they have the ability to dispel racism and stereotypes by humanizing the Japanese people and expressing that, in reality, real Japanese people were not like the caricatures in Hollywood that supported the war.